Are you ever just tired of talking to people who don't get it? Does it sometimes feel like you're talking to a brick wall when you try to explain to other people what living your life is really like? Have you watched people's eyes glaze over as they nod and go, mm-hmm, when you're trying to explain what executive dysfunction is like or time blindness or some other aspect of your neurodivergence? Are you ready to lose your mind if one more person tells you, oh, everybody does that when you're talking about your neurodivergence? Yeah, it might be time for you to get a neurodivergent life coach. Hi, my name is Megan and welcome to Neurodivergent Magic, the YouTube channel for neurodivergent content coming to you every single Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about life coaching, specifically what is a neurodivergent life coach and what do they do? So full disclosure, I am a neurodivergent life coach and I'm uniquely qualified to tell you exactly what that means because I have defined it for myself. A neurodivergent life coach is a neurodivergent person who guides other neurodivergent people on their journey to accept their neurodivergent brain. Personally, I like to just identify as neurodivergent in general since I'm honestly not quite sure what box I fit into. All I know is that I recognize a lot of the signs of neurodivergence in myself and I am super happy to help other people who, you know, may have a professional diagnosis of some kind, a self-diagnosis, or like me, just identify as neurodivergent in general. So what do I do exactly? Basically, I've been working on coping with and working with my brain for a really long time. And I haven't got it all worked out. <laughs> I am by no means like the perfect neurodivergent person with all of these skills that I use flawlessly every time. It's not that. Instead, I'm a real person who sits down with you and I'm a couple steps ahead of where you are. I am where you want to be. I have my executive dysfunction under control enough that I actually fold my laundry. I have my time blindness under control enough that I'm only a half hour late to most things. And my personal favorite, I'm highly sensitive, but I'm no longer ashamed of that. And that's really the crux of what I teach my coaching clients. I teach you how to not be ashamed anymore. So many problems amongst neurodivergent people stem from the fact that our world is not built for neurodivergent folks. Our world is built by and for neurotypicals. And as a result, a lot of neurodivergent people live their entire lives feeling completely out of place and ashamed of who they are. Now, is getting rid of your shame going to get you places on time? Yes and no. Obviously, coping with shame is not going to help you get places on time. It's not going to cure your time blindness. However, coping with your shame frees up brain power for you to do other things. Shame requires an enormous amount of thought. Feeling ashamed impairs your working memory, decreases your executive function, and increases emotional volatility, all of which might make it harder for you to get where you're going on time. So in a way, yes, dealing with your shame can help you get places on time. It can help with those day-to-day -day activities. But that's just one reason I really focus on shame. The other reason goes a lot deeper, and it's just that I don't believe that neurodivergent people deserve to feel ashamed of themselves all the time. You deserve to like yourself. You deserve to be who you are and feel like that's enough. That's what I'm really passionate about. That's why I do what I do, because I really care about neurodivergent people being themselves in a world that doesn't always encourage that. So what does it look like to work with a neurodivergent life coach? Basically, what we will do is we will sit down for what's called a discovery call. This is an initial call for us to just get to know each other. It's via Zoom, but if you're uncomfortable with camera, we can always leave cameras off. Um, and basically, we just chat about what's going on in your life. We usually try to identify three things that you would like to work on. And one of my favorite questions questions to get to know people is if you could fix one thing about your life right now and it would change everything for you, what would that one thing be? Then after the discovery call, we start meeting on a regular basis and we start working on those things that we identified at the beginning. After two or three sessions together, I will build a personalized plan specifically for you and your goals to take us through the next six to 12 weeks, depending on what your goals are and how much you want to accomplish. 
then when we're done with the plan, you can either graduate, move on, and go forward and enjoy your life, or if you feel like we have more work to do, we make another plan and we get to work. Okay, so now you've got the gist. Let's go through a couple of disclaimers. Number one, coaching is not therapy. I made an entire video about the differences between coaching and therapy. You can go check that out now. Number two, coaching is not for the faint of heart. Now, this obviously isn't the most grueling work in the world, but it's also definitely not the easiest. We do some pretty tough emotional work together, and if you're not ready for that, that's okay. But if you are ready to really change your emotional landscape and learn better forms of self-talk and get rid of the years of shame that you're carrying around, then coaching might be right for you. And number three, the best coaches have coaches. So personally, I have a coach who I love very much and you're going to benefit not only from my wisdom, but also from her wisdom that she has passed on to me. Okay, so let's say you've watched this video and you're like, this literally sounds like exactly what I need. What do I do? Go to the link in the description, sign up for a discovery call and let's start working together. I can't wait to meet all of you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Tuesday.